the latest news from Japan is pointing to a whole new chapter with Toyota introducing a flagship SUV that could be called Century SUV. While we don't know a lot of the details, Best Car Magazine is very confident that this amazing flagship world-class SUV will indeed show up in Asian market and possibly other parts of the world before December 2023, which is only a year away. According to this latest scoop, Best Car Magazine is saying that it will compete directly with the likes of Rolls Royce Cullinan, which is shocking to us because Toyota has never gone that far up in terms of pricing, in terms of luxury and elegance. But they are saying Toyota is ready for a whole new market that was never done before. And while we don't know for sure if it will be called a Sentry SUV, they're saying that internally, that's what they're referring to. So let's find out more about this shocking news that is actually surprising everyone in Japan. So first, let me show you the rendering that the Best Car Magazine came up with, which shouldn't be a surprise because it looks a lot like a normal Toyota Sentry, but with a very boxy, a very royal looking SUV body. And this indeed is the Sentry SUV as they call it, even though we don't know the final name yet. So this latest scoop came from the January edition of the Best Car Magazine, which just came out a couple days ago. And right off the bat, they're saying that even they were taken back by this biggest news of 2023, which is that the Century will be available in some kind of a sport utility vehicle version in a way that has never been marketed before because it's going to be a, at a much higher price tag to compete with the likes of the Rolls Royce. As you can see, these are obviously still a predicted rendering. We're not quite sure if it's going to look like this, but the Best Car Magazine does get into a fair amount of details in terms of speculation for engine, uh, in terms of chassis, and even the timing, which once again appears to be showing up sometime before the end of 2023 calendar year. Now, one disappointing element of all this is according to them, this is going to be based on a TNGA K platform and not actually based on the existing Sentry platform. Uh, so they are expecting that the new Sentry SUV or whatever it's going to be called will be stealing its basic architecture and platform from the upcoming Lexus TX, which obviously in turn is based on the Toyota Highlander platform. Uh, so it will have sort of a Highlander slash Grand Highlander slash Lexus TX feel in terms of the basic platform and engineering. Um, but uh, they are predicting that in terms of drivability and the ride and the comfort and luxury features, it will surpass anything that Toyota has ever done before. The only perhaps surprise is that instead of having a V8 engine, as it will be the case in a normal Toyota Century, uh, they expect that it will have a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 engine that is now widely used in different uh, elements within the Toyota family. It may or may not have an uh, option to have a hybrid as well. Uh, although personally, I think if they're going to offer a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 for such an expensive car, I would expect that you will only have the hybrid version. Um, they are saying in terms of horsepower and rating, it'll be similar to what the current 3.4 liter uh, twin turbo V6 with hybrid might be offering. Um, so that could be quite an impressive power output and torque. Uh, but there's not much else they do know because it was a, a, a fresh news uh, coming out of nowhere and they were really taken back by this big news. No, I'm not going to take credit for these rendering because they came straight from the Best Car Magazine, but I did tweak a little bit to make it a little bit uh, cleaner and I put different color and also put them in different background so that they look a little bit more realistic. I doubt very much that uh, something like this will come in blue like this, but it kind of looks cool in a blue color because that's kind of a trendy uh, hue these days. And the uh, golden color I showed you as well looks kind of weird, but who knows, perhaps in Middle East, a Century SUV in gold could be very popular indeed. Uh, as you may or may not know, the Century has always been crafted by the Takumi specialists who have the most number of years of experience at Toyota, 
often 30 or 35 years of experience. And they were built at the Higashi Fuji factory for the longest time, but they did take that factory down to create the new Woven City project, which is a new pilot project for Toyota um, in a, a, with an eye toward the future because they want to create a new prototype city. So the Century Factory or Century Production was moved to the Moto Match Factory where many other uh, Takumi specialists uh, are around uh, because they do also build Lexus LC and a few other specialized cars over there. So we fully expect the Century SV will be assembled at Moto Machi Factory along with a Century Sedan to maintain that craftsmanship and to maintain that world-class quality which is often difficult to achieve in a mass production environment. Now Best Car Magazine is also predicting other attributes of the Century SUV. Uh, in fact they are saying that it's going to be as much as 5.2 meters in length, 1.95 meters in width, and 1.75 meters in height with a three meter wheelbase. So putting it slightly smaller than Rolls Royce Cullinan, but certainly it is not a small SUV. Uh, they do expect it to weigh 2200 kilogram. Apologize everything in metric here because this is a, a Japanese magazine. Uh, and they are saying that in addition to having a, a pr approximately 300 PS horsepower, that's a, a metric rating for the 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 engine, there will also be a motor in the rear uh, in the form of an e axle uh, technology that uh, Lexus and Toyota is now showcasing in their newest vehicles that can have as much as 80 to 100 PS horsepower for combined amount of close to 400 PS horsepower. And they are also saying that it could cost easily 100 to 150 thousand uh, dollars, which is really where the Toyota Century is currently. In fact, you can buy a Toyota Century even more expensive than that. Uh, and they are quite confident that it will show up uh, before the end of 2023 calendar year. So that is perhaps the biggest surprise. And in fact, they keep saying that they were taken back by that news because they didn't know and that no one actually knew that Toyota was working on a, a Toyota Century SUV. Uh, for me personally, I'm predicting that this is going to be perhaps a Japanese version of or Century version of the Lexus TX because it is going to share the same platform, uh, probably it's the same basic architecture, but perhaps the Century SUV will be larger, longer, wider, and then it will have a, a very different uh, body profile and a very different interior. Uh, so it's going to be uh, obviously a lot more expensive and uh, very unique compared to Lexus TX. But I suspect that's what they're doing to cut cost and to make development time easier. Otherwise, there's no way they could introduce this Century SUV by the end of 2023. It has to be sharing platform with a Lexus TX. And so those are some of the interesting news. Um, although, as we probably suspect, the Lexus TX will have a 2.4 liter uh, turbocharged four cylinder engine with a hybrid. So that will be a one uh, big difference if this Century SUV uh, does indeed show up with a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 engine. Finally, the magazine is saying that uh, Toyota will obviously try to create a fully electric version of the Century SUV as well, uh, which is actually uh, easier to do in a body like this because it's a taller than a sedan, more space for larger battery, and it's only a matter of time before Toyota will introduce a Century SUV fully electric uh, vehicle. So there's a lot coming your way in terms of uh, this news from Toyota. What do you guys think of this amazing news from Japan that Sentry could be available in sport utility vehicle? I'm very curious to hear your comments and questions. So please uh, put as much question as you want on the uh, comment section and hopefully I'll cover them in the upcoming uh, videos. But for now, if you're able to uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so, I would truly appreciate that. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much. <laughs>